Hi guys, I am back with more of a Dollar Tree and 99 cent store haul. This is after I filmed my um, initial Dollar Tree haul. So I just want to add it in since it's so much good stuff I want to share with you guys. So I will be adding it in this video and also I'll be sharing with you um, what I bought from the 99 cent store. It was only a few things and the pricing on that just because everything is not 99 cents from there. But let's get started because it's quite a bit again. Um, so we'll start off here with the Crafter Square pencil and brush organizer. I had bought two of these a few months ago. They sold out, I couldn't find them. So I bought two more. They seem to restock at one of the stores I went to nearby my home. Um, and I will insert a picture of how I organized my son's, um, some of his pencils and markers, but I needed two more since he has a lot of um, art markers. And then let's move on here. I found the fall candle. Sorry if you could hear Cash. Um, I'm here by myself with the boys today. Um, I found the pumpkin spice. Harvest Hay Rides, and you guys, I smelt these. They smell so good. Um, toasted Marshmallows, Rake, Pile, and Leap, and I love the colors of them, and they are in the mason jar, so you can use the jar afterwards. These I like to keep in my guest restroom um, just because the space is small, so you can actually smell the fragrance, and it's just something cozy in the restroom for, you know, your guest, and I think it's cute. And then I found this small home sweet home. It's like a little tea light house. I think it's cute for my tear trays that I like to do. Um, I ended up finding this garland. It was the last one, so I picked it up. It is a felt garland. It's, I believe, what ghosts, pumpkins, and bats, but I haven't opened it yet. And that's all from Dollar Tree. This is from the 99 cent store. It is also a small banner. It is plaid and it says Happy Halloween. I haven't opened it. It is smaller, but I think it would be so cute on my new, possibly my new entryway table that I just posted. If you follow me on Instagram, my name is Makeup by Cat Z. And then I found more of these party favors, um, syringes. I'm going to put Hawaiian fruit punch for the kids to drink out of. I think it's just cute and something fun for them on Halloween. My Dollar Tree that I went to had a few things um, Christmas out, quite a bit. I'll insert pictures I took there also. Um, I wanted to buy more stuff, but I needed to stop because I'm still buying fall and Halloween. So these are the only things I picked up Christmas-wise, I believe. Um, it is the five-count wood ornament of the Christmas tree. And you guys, if you see these, pick these up. These always sell. Anything with the red truck sells out. And then I found these LED lights in the clear. They also had them, I believe, an orange or like a yellow tone and one other color. But I picked up the white um, just because I need those for something that, I have, that I'm going to be doing. This is also from the 99 cent store. This was 99 cents. It's a small wood sign. So, ad so adorable. And I think it looks very farmhouse. So I'm going to find a place for that this year. I think it's so cute. And you guys, my favorite find, well, one of my favorites is the Buffalo Check tumblers. So I found one in the cold with the straw and one for the hot hot products. So I got one of each, um, two separate stores, and this seems to be selling out the fastest is the one that says family. They do also have one that says cherish, faith, and blessed. So family and blessed seem to be selling out, but family to me at the stores I went to were almost all gone at both stores. And then I found more, or not found, but I picked up um, the display easels for picture frames because I'm gonna be doing a few projects and I need some more of those clear ones. I found these fall tumblers, one with the leaves, um, very pretty, and the um, rubber grips do come off. And then I found one of the cold drink tumblers and the hot tumbler in the pick of the patch. I think that looks just so farmhouse and vintage. I love it. So I grabbed one of each. Um, since I do drink a lot of iced tea and also um, I make my own iced coffee at home, I like to have you know, the cold tumblers, I drink out of it every day. And then the hot tumblers, we use literally year-round for hot chocolate, for the boys, for my hot coffee, my husband's hot coffee. We use these cups. So I think they were cute. And I, pretty much a necessity in our house because I needed new ones. Um, Hello Gorgeous, and it has the gourds on it. This one I did not see in a print for the hot cup, like the hot tumbler like this. So if they do have one and I find it, I will pick it up. And then you guys, one of my favorites, Hello Fall. It's the red truck with pumpkins in the back and it comes in both styles. So I picked up one of each. Okay, and then this, some of the stuff was from the 99. So this skull, it does light up and they had it in a clear and it was $1.99 as you can see there. I only picked up one um, for my display this year. I might go back and get another one. And I think they also had it like in a, a tinted like black like a fogged smoke black I want to say like a smoke gray um 
but I didn't pick it up. So I might go pick up another clear one. And then I found this um, like fortune tale in hand and I thought it was so cute. It's heavy. It feels like almost like cement. And this was $1.49. Um, I seen online there was two different styles, but the one I went to only had one style. So I picked it up. This Wicked Witch flying on a broom. It does light up with a little um, tea light candle and it, the the candle is different color, so I believe it changes into green, purple, and blue, I want to say. Um, 99 or it was at the Dollar Tree, so a dollar. And then I just picked up this little serving tray. I need a new one, so I just picked up one of those, also Dollar Tree. Um, everything's from Dollar Tree, unless I say it's from the 99. So these were, um, I seen these at the Dollar Tree, and I never seen them before. Maybe I just never paid attention, but I grabbed two packs of the Jack-O-Lantern face, one of the bats and one of the ghost. And I'm not sure if these glow in the dark. It doesn't say, but it almost looks like it. But if not, I think I might make a balloon arch for the kids since more than likely we are going to be staying home. And then I picked up these crafter square sponges with also these wooden um, craft dowels. Um, I do want to do a fall project with the boys and I will be posting on my Instagram. If you guys want to follow along and you want to do it too, it's very inexpensive. And I think it's just cute for fall. So I needed those, and then I picked up these um, decor. It's in the party section. They carry year round. They carry in a pink, a gold, and a black. So I picked up two of the blacks. I'm gonna be doing a Halloween craft that I will also post for you guys if you want to do it and have it for your display. And then I found one of these. Um, if you got it haunted, they had quite a few, but I just picked up one just for like treats and stuff. I needed new um, Tupperware for Halloween. And I found this cool little skeleton dog at the 99. Okay, if you bought this at Target or Spirit Halloween, this would be easily 10 to $20. It's not the biggest, but it's a pretty good size for $2.49. So I did grab that. I thought it would just be so cute with my display for this year. I don't want him to fall over. And they also had it in a vulture and maybe one other thing I can't remember, but I liked the dog. I thought it was different. And then I found the palmistry hand sign also goes with like the fortune telling hand that was also at the 99 cent store. And that was 99 cents. And then the ghost happy haunting was Dollar Tree. And so was the little happy Halloween truck, which is so vintage and so nostalgic. I am, I was on the hunt for that, for this one. So I'm so glad I found it. And then I found this little sign that says eek. It's a uh, like a garden steak at the 99 cent stores and that was actually 99 cents and they had one other print but i thought that one was just so so cute so i just picked that one up and then you guys i hit the mother load on the picture frame so i found 11 by 14 picture frames and they are in black um a few months ago and i picked up maybe like four and i thought oh i'll go back you guys i've been hunting at every single dollar tree i go to and not had any luck finding them again so I went the other night to uh, one down the street from me about 15 minutes away from me and they must have had just restocked these because there was a whole stack of them so I grabbed 13 of these I will be showing you guys I do have a project coming up how it turns out um, on my Instagram I'll be posting it so for a dollar for 11 by 14 frames you cannot beat it and it's black it goes with anyone's decor I will be posting that soon so it was just an overview of everything I want to share with you guys. Really good stuff. Nothing was over $2.50. Most of it was a dollar. So, um, yeah, happy hunting, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Kat, and today I have a humongous Halloween Dollar Tree haul. So if you know me, you know I love the Dollar Tree. And if you really, really know me, you know I love Halloween so much. And you probably do too. That's probably why you clicked on this video because of the title. So um, if you are new and you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I tend to make a lot of haul videos. I do wanna do a few decorate with me's and um, like DIY videos also that I wanna put on this channel. So let's just get started because I have a lot and I wanna get through it fast. I tend to talk a lot and I need to stop. So I hit up the Dollar Tree a few different times. They've been putting out stuff slowly but surely at my Dollar Tree's not, not all at once. So let me show you what I found. For my first bag that I was so excited for. I did like a book theme last year, like spell books. So when I found these, I grabbed, I, I believe I grabbed every design, but in different sizes. So first one, 
How beautiful is that gold foiling? Um, they are super thick compared to if you watched my, I don't know what video is going to be up first. I did a Halloween Target dollar spot haul. Um, the books from there are like literally a third smaller than these, so much smaller. Um, and they're also a dollar, but they're just so much smaller. And this one on the side is everything. I love the skull, the crow, the bat, and how the font is. And it says scary story. So you could do it that way. You could lay it flat and stock, stack other books. However you sell this, I think it's so, so good for $1. So that's the orange print. And then I grabbed this one that says love potions. And it has the skull with the flowers and the gold foiling here, like just on the corners. And actually, I just felt this. The top two are embossed. So they do stick out. A little bit you could actually feel it with like texture and the, these ones here on the bottom are flat so that is beautiful it looks like very worn like a worn in book if you were to have one I love how big it is you can see the size difference of these two so I just love it and this one says love potions on the side how beautiful so I grabbed that one I think I might have grabbed two of this one no I didn't I only grabbed okay I grabbed one of each because there was four designs um, this next one I loved also it is tales of Halloween with the bats and like the spooky moon the spooky tree and the little ghost and the gravestone so I think it's supposed to be like a grave a graveyard I love 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 this one I think Dollar Tree hit it out of the park this year with the styling of their um, decor they still have like the kitty stuff that isn't as scary and then some of this stuff that's more elevated if you tend to like decorate like me where you like so you have Halloween decorations, but not look kiddish with like bright colors and stuff. So, and I love this one, how it says Tales of Halloween with the owl. To me, the owl is everything during fall season. And this one is the black interior. And then that's the back. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't show you the interior on this one is, okay, I think they're all black interior. Yes, they are. So I love that. Um, I mean, just like, look how beautiful that would look stacked on like a bookshelf or a fireplace or anywhere you want to put it, or you could stack it that way also. So, okay. And then this is the last print reminds me of so much of Hocus Pocus, um, with the book with the one eye. So when I seen this, I was like, oh my God, I love it. And this to me either looks like stitching or staples and it is like in a silver foil. Same thing as like almost like a gem around the eye or a keyhole, like they're looking into a keyhole. I love that. And um, there, this is says witches spell book. So that's what makes me think like Hocus Pocus, like they took a, a bite out of Hocus Pocus, but like elevated it a little bit. I think that's so cute. Black interior, same thing. So I grabbed, yeah, one of each print and I haven't seen any other prints. And honestly, I went to a different Dollar Tree and that's the only one I've seen those at right so far. And um, you guys know in my other Dollar Tree, um, fall and Halloween haul. I, ha I hauled some of this black glitter ribbon. So I got some more of that. It is not wired, but it is 12 feet. And then I could just grab two of these creepy cloths in like off white just to have in my stock. Um, cause I tend to like put it on the tables or hang it off, drape it off a mirror or something. Okay. So next bag, I'm just picking up randomly. I found they, I was telling you guys in the, my last haul that I bought um, Halloween cards, greeting cards, but I was waiting for like the handmade cards and I grabbed two of them because I thought they were so cute. Like how darling, like look at the witch cauldron is in glitter. Her hat's in glitter, everything. Like I love it. Her hat does. It's like a, a pop-up effect. She has a green envelope. So it looks like the potion spilling out on the envelope and in the bubbles. I love it. She reminds me like bewitched love it i think it's so cute and i love that she has witch's shoes on but they're not like the hill witch shoes they're almost like flat little booties does anyone notice that kind of stuff besides me i don't know i think it's so cute and then the inside is just like that and the back has a black cat since there is like a little black cat in the in the front and then the second one i picked up it says too sweet to spook and it has um the raised moon and it is in a gold and I just love the candy corn and how the candy corns are dressed up like in Halloween costumes. Like he's a, a bat Halloween, uh, the one hanging onto the moon. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a moon man, maybe a witch. And look at the little spider hanging off the witch's hat or no, I'm not sorry, not a spider, a star. And then this one is just eating the candy with the jack-o'-lantern, like adorable. And then the inside, um, 
is just like that and it comes orange and they have a pumpkin for the front pumpkin so cute and then i pick up like these holiday cups every holiday for my kids my two boys so i seen these and i thought these were so cute i think these were out last year but they might have been a little different and i love them the frankenstein with the pink lids. I love how all the colors pop off each other. So I am gonna be making them like little Halloween baskets, but I do tend to give them their cups like in the beginning of like October. So they can drink out of them all season. I think that's like the point of having like Halloween dishes or cups. I think it's just something fun. And then I picked these up. I don't know if I'm gonna give these to my older son, Ethan. He loves like holiday socks as much as I do. And these are so soft, they're like the the very soft material and I, he loves candy corn. So I think I'm going to put these in his Halloween basket. Um, I thought that was so, so cute. Like candy corn, little slipper socks, like so cute. And then I found this pair that I also picked up in spiders. So I don't know which one I might give him, but either way, um, I have two pairs and then my other haul, which was target. I picked up more, um, Halloween socks. So I have a few different pairs. And then I found these. I know these are brand new. I never seen these at Dollar Tree um, prior to this. So I know they're new and it comes in a four pack. They are little witch cauldrons. Um, this one says happy Halloween. They had them in an orange tone and a purple tone with different stuff that on the front that says something different. But I just like the black and I like how simple it was with the happy Halloween and the little jack-o-lantern. And then, and I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. Um, I told my husband I might want to have a Halloween party with just like close family um, for like my nieces and nephews to all get dressed up and come over if they want. Um, just because I feel like obviously we're probably not going to have a Halloween due to the pandemic, but um, whatever. <laughs> so um, I also found this little wood shape um, pumpkin with a little raffia bow. Um, I kind of like it by itself or I, I'm thinking I might spray paint it. So I'm not sure yet what I want to do with it but I just picked up one just to have okay and then let's see our next little bag here oh you know what this is actually I'll show you the hand I think I picked up two of the white hands does this not remind you of um what was it with the white hand oh my god we were them for last year for the dang um for Halloween I don't know, but I just love it. So you can either put a little tea light in there or you could like flip it upside down and make it look like it's holding something. So I just love that. Um, I think it looks very nostalgic, something you would see before. I don't know, that does kind of look like a little nick, but it's fine, it's not like anything big. But I love, love, love that. Adam's family, we were the Adam's family last year for Halloween. I don't know how, I just like had a brain fart. But it reminds me of the Adam's family. Like remember the little hand that would run across? I don't know so I thought that was so cute and it did come in black I'll show you guys that because I did pick that up also it's just in a different bag but these were actually from Dollar General I never go to Dollar General it's probably like 10 15 minutes from my house but I just never drive up that way and I went just for these and I found them so it's a hello pumpkin little tumbler and then also happy fall and I only picked up one each um each for one each for each of my sons but i should have picked up more now that i'm thinking about it but that's fine and i have a funny story when i walked in i knew i was on a hunt for these i went in kind of later in the day almost at night time and a lady walked in right after me like i was in the aisle for maybe like a minute by myself and at our dollar general the aisles are like literally this big she walked literally okay it's like pandemic six feet apart she literally was like this close to me like if she was my husband or something like and then she was on her phone she was super loud talking she was just standing behind me like i think she was waiting for me to move to look at this stuff and i was like almost gonna say like can you back up like six feet apart but i was like you know what i'm just gonna take a deep breath and i walked off so i grabbed i think two one i think one of each of these and i might have had another print i walked around the store for like 10 minutes waiting for her to leave so i could go back and look even though i was there first um, and I think after she knew that she was just standing there, I walked back like a few times and I just will like look down the aisle and she wasn't even doing anything. She was just on her phone, but standing there and I was like, wow, really? So as soon as she walked off and I noticed she only had mugs in her hand. So she went for the mugs also, and she only had like three or four. 
Um, so she obviously was waiting for me to move. So I moved and then after she just was standing there, no one I was waiting for her to leave. So I thought that was like so rude of her. But anyways, on that little story rant, um, I don't know why people, I just like my personal space. Even before the pandemic and coronavirus, I don't like when someone's like literally right here. And she was talking so loud on her cell phone. It was annoying, but yeah, I was the bigger person and I walked off and I just waited for her to finish shopping and then I went back. So these are so cute, Dollar General, they were $1. So I love that, and I think I might go back for another Hello Pumpkin. I think it's so, so cute, and I can get the red truck for myself. Okay, also from Dollar Tree, I've seen these a while ago, and I never picked them up. Oops, my necklace. And they had them in different styles, but I just picked up two of the squared. I think these would be so cute for like fall with some pumpkins in it or whatever you want to put in it. I think it will look so cute. Um, and then later on, I think I might spray paint these black for like my everyday decor or um, organization. But they had it in this one, a longer one, like a longer, shorter one, and then also a round. So I just picked up these two because I wasn't quite sure what I'm going to use it on yet, but I love it. I think it looks so high end, especially the gold. I love the gold actually. If you have an office space or like how everyone's like distance learning, you could really get some good organization pieces at Dollar Tree. And then I found this yesterday, I believe I was at my Dollar Tree. I've never seen this. I know it is a brand new item. I thought it was beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Probably put it in the yard somewhere. It doesn't have a yard state, um, but I might put it on the porch. I just love that iridescent green purple teal tones. I think it's beautiful and it just says forevermore. So I thought that was awesome that Dollar Tree is stepping up their game and coming out with more stuff and that's just the back of it. But if I like it, I will pick up some more. And then I believe, let's see. Oh, I found these and I thought these were so cute. I've never seen them at my Dollar Tree before. I've seen other people haul them but they look like little miniature coffee cups. And this is in cream brulee coffee and it smells legit. Oh my God. Remember, um, I don't know if you guys are around the same age as me, um, the Gloria Jean coffee or like coffee beans, but they were called Gloria Jean coffee, um, coffee shops. It always had that smell because it was like a bakery. It reminds me of that. So I don't know, it, I just, I think this is so so cute i picked up two of them i've been holding on to these for like two weeks um so i could burn them but i'm gonna put like one in my uh, laundry room and one in my rest downstairs guest restroom and it smells so good and i found these at another dollar tree i go to um about 15 minutes from my house and they only had a few of them and now i'm thinking i should have picked up more because i love this smell and a coffee smell to me i just love year round but really it smells so good it reminds me of the um coffee shop gloria jean if you remember that coffee shop, please comment down below. I don't know if they're still around or they just closed the ones that were in my um, local malls. But okay, so anyways. Um, and I also found this sign yesterday. It says, beware of the wicked witch and her little monsters live here. I seen this sign the past few years, never picked it up. And I went through my Halloween decor and I noticed I didn't have it. So I thought this would be really cute since I'm gonna be doing like a little witch's station probably this year. So I just wanted that. And these I gave to my kids already yesterday, but I found these with the Halloween costumes. Um, I post on my Instagram stories. Um, so follow me there, makeup at Cat Z. But I will probably make a little tab um, on my Instagram so you guys can see what they look like. They are a pirate light up mask. I should have brought them in here, but I didn't even think about it. So actually it has the same picture, but one had like the black bandana with the red, how it shows here. And the other one had a red bandana with the black eyes and the black nose. And then all you do is pop the little tab out on the inside and it lights up around the eyes. So for a dollar, I feel like that's so amazing. And then with that, they had the pirate vest that looks exactly like this and the pirate sword for also a dollar. It's sold separately. Um, but I thought that is so good just for like play pretend or even actually a Halloween costume. If you don't like spending a lot on a Halloween costume or you feel like we're not going trick or treating this year, but you still want to let your kids have fun and run around the house with like a few little dress up toys. I think this is so perfect. I gave it to them just to play with. Um, so they had this vest and then it came in the same packaging. So I just didn't even look, I just grabbed both. But when I op opened both and I got home, the other one was all black with, um, 
a red skull with no striping. So just be on the lookout for that. If you want this one, make sure you just like flip it over and look. I didn't, it has the same exact packaging, but it was two different vests. And then I also found this. I've seen this the past few years at Dollar Tree, but I finally picked one up for my tier tray or my entryway table. But what I'm going to do is I believe I'm gonna melt down another candle and then put it as a candle holder or actually to burn a candle. So I'm gonna melt down a candle and fill it. And I will post that on my Instagram when I do do that so you guys can see how it turns out. And then I grabbed more of this. I grab this every year when it comes out, the limited edition pumpkin spice sauce caramels. We love these, me and my sons, and also like my mom and them love these. So I grabbed um, this bag here and I grabbed more of this. If you watched my other Dollar Tree fall and Halloween videos, I said how um, taffy just reminds me, like saltwater taffy reminds me of fall. It just does, I don't know why. And I, we love saltwater taffy. So I found more in the creamsicle flavor and they do have watermelon flavor, but they were out at my Dollar Tree yesterday. So I just grabbed one more bag of um, the creamsicle flavor and it's so good, you guys, so, so good. And my Aunt Diana, hi Aunt Diana. Um, she seen my haul last time and I was mentioning, I think it was like $4 a bag, I thought at like Trader Joe's, but actually they sell it on eBay. She looked it up. It was like $13. People were selling it for like $13 for this little bag, a four ounce bag. But I looked up the website and they've been around forever. I think since 1907, I think they said. And they sell it for $7.95. So pretty much $8 for this little bag. And they have it at Dollar Tree. So if you see it and you love saltwater taffy, pick it up. It's a good buy. Okay, and I think this is the last bag I have. Oh, look what fell on the floor. It was this little candle holder and it says boo. And it is in white with the black trim and the gold handle. And I believe I got one in black. Let me see here. I have another bag here. I hear glass in here, so I'm sure. Yes, I did. Like how cute are these? These are so, so cute. So I got one of each, the black and the white. And I seen this one day and I just grabbed them because I knew they were gonna sell out and I haven't seen them again at my Dollar Tree. Oh my God, look, I grabbed more socks. Okay, so I will give Ethan those candy corn socks and the other ones because these ones I picked up for myself and it comes in a two pack and it's just ankle socks and it has little coffee, pumpkin spice coffee cups with pumpkin pie and then like a pumpkin latte or a hot chocolate. I love that. And then it just comes with like a gray and white stripe. So Dollar Tree, two for a dollar. This was not with the fall stuff. This was down the regular aisle with just their regular socks. And it was pushed all the way in the back, but I found it and I grabbed it. And I think they're so cute. And then I found more of this garland um, in like a deep burgundy. Well, not like a burgundy and like a deep burgundy and a burnt orange. Um, I picked some up from my previous haul. It was my, um, Joann's and Hobby Lobby haul and it was similar colors but the one from Joann's is a little bit lighter so this is gonna go on my tablescape for my place settings um like I said check back on my Instagram I will be posting photos and stuff there when I do decorate for fall I usually decorate for Halloween since we love Halloween we decorate for Halloween first so um usually the last week of September I will put up Halloween decorations and then on November 1st I um, put up fall decorations. So we love Halloween, so it stays up for a whole month. But here's the other white hand. I know a lot of people put up like fall, take it down, put up Halloween, and then put back up fall, or they put up Christmas, but I can't do all that. I'm a busy mom of two. I don't know how people even do that. But I know on here on YouTube, everyone likes to you know be ahead of the game. But for me, it's just not practical to like put it up, take it down, put it up. It's just too much. And I like to actually like enjoy Thanksgiving and time with family and friends in the season with the seasonal decorations. Like, I don't know how people have a Christmas tree up eating Thanksgiving dinner. It just, it's like you're already moving forward and not enjoying the time while you're living it in the moment. That's what it is. You're not living in the moment. So I feel like fall and stuff like that, you should just live in the moment and not feel rushed to do it just because other people are doing it. So um, yeah, anyways, my Halloween will be up first and then my fall and then my Christmas during Christmas time. So anyways, this is the other thing I found and I know Dollar Tree has never carried this before. It is party favors and they're like in little syringes. So I die when I see this, like we had a Halloween party a few years ago and it was so, so cute. 
like a hundred over a hundred people came but obviously this year we're not going to do a big halloween party if we do anything it will be very small with like immediate family but i thought this would be so cute to put like red jello in for the kids or something or um maybe like red fruit punch and they could drink it i thought that was so cute but i need to pick up more i only picked up one but now that i'm thinking about it i might pick up more or you can use it for a tear tray whatever you really want to do but oh my god that's everything from the dollar tree you guys i'm so glad i found all these goodies and i hope you do too let me know down in the comments like if you like to decorate for halloween do you keep up your stuff during halloween do you keep up your fall during thanksgiving um i'm just interested and also let me know if you found any goodies or what you're looking for what was your favorite thing from this haul um, until next time. Bye, you guys. Thank you for watching.